Summer is definitely here and with that comes vacation season. And you might want to grab a book on your vacation or just maybe lay out in your backyard and enjoy the sunshine. We've got uh, Andrea Guff from the Seattle Public Library here to talk about hey. some of the top books this summer. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So Glad it's great to have you here. We've talked about kids and summer reading and now it's time for adults. Yes. So you've got some recommendations. How did you come up with this list? So they're just a little bit of a variety, a little bit of something for everybody and a few of the hottest books this summer, I think. Okay, what are we thinking here? I, I, the Awkward Squad by Sophie Hennaff was one that you seem to be hot on. What's going on there? Yeah, so that one I think might be flying a little bit under the radar. It's a new mystery by a French writer, and it stars Detective Anne Capistan, who has been put on suspension for firing one bullet too many. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's going to be fired, but instead she's put in charge of a squad of misfits, the people that can't solve crimes that no one else wants on their squad. Only seven officers out of 40 show up, and they find a couple of interesting mysteries to investigate. Mm -hmm. So it's got a great Parisian setting, really kind of fun and fast, great to take with you on the beach. Nice. The, the Awkward Squad. The Awkward Squad. Okay, the next one you recommend is called The Abbot's Tale. What is that one about? Yeah, so this is for the historical fiction fans. Uh, it's about St. Dunstan, who lived in 10th century England. We don't actually know a ton about his life. We know he built the abbeys at Gloucester and Canterbury, and he served seven kings of England over a hundred years hmm. as they tried to unite the regional clans into a unified England. And Khan Golden just does a really fabulous job of bringing that era to life. Uh, this is for people who want to feel like they're learning something when they read, and also just really get transported to a different time. Is that a nonfiction? It is fiction. It's a fiction. Yeah. Okay, interesting. But it's beautiful. Uh, okay, Crazy Rich Asian by Kevin Kwan. You hadn't heard of this book. I, and I thought it's, it was it's, a it's coming out as a movie. Yeah, no. I see it, I see it in, his, in the script. I'm going, is that really a book? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm talking about it because it is coming out yeah. as a movie in August. Uh, so this first came out in 2014, but it's a perfect summer read. Uh, it has New Yorker Rachel Chu. She's been uh, dating this guy, Nick, for about two years, and he invites her to come home with him to Singapore to meet his family. And she's thinking, okay, this will be great. And then she realizes they're one of the richest families in Asia, oh. and she is snagged one of Asia's most eligible bachelors. So it's just kind of a fun, fast, breezy novel. Read it before you go see the movie I was in August. I say, right? Yeah. It's coming out pretty soon. So. Exactly. And you can also read the two sequels if you have time before it comes out. So the movie is based on the book. It is. On the book. Okay. Yep. I like yep. it when it's that way. Now. And the last one is There There by Tommy Orange. Yeah. So There There by Tommy Orange centers around um, a central event, which is a powwow in Oakland. And it takes the lives of 12 different Native Americans as they prepare for this powwow. Kind of talks about how they came to this place, their relationships with one another. Um, and it's, I think, really one of the books of the year. Uh, booksellers have been really hot on it, librarians. It's a beautifully written book that doesn't shy away from uh, hard topics, mm -hmm. but is a beautiful character, character study. Oh, I love it. How many books do you read? I read about a book or two a week. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is quite the variety. It's kind of a little bit of something for everyone. Yeah, and I do want to say, you mentioned uh, Summer of Learning for Children. Yeah. We do have Summer Book Bingo for adults, and these books will fit a category. Uh, so check out your Summer Book Bingo at uh, the library website or pop in and get what your do, reading What card. do you win if you start reading all these books? Yeah, so you can enter to win a gift card to one of our local independent bookstores. And the grand prize is two season tickets to Seattle Arts and Lectures. Oh, that's so we're doing it in cool. partnership with them. You yeah. describe the book so well, too. Thank You're you. making no, all of them sound really <laughs> good, week. right? Yes, they